Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing my monthly favourites for August. Things that I've been loving over the month of August. I feel like there's a lot of um, skincare and hair care products in here and not necessarily um, makeup. But I wanted to talk you through a few of my favourite things. I'm going to start with the one makeup product. Two makeup products, actually. It was a lie. Um, and the first one is one from Victoria Beckham makeup, which I've never really gotten into yet so far. I've tried a couple of her products and they're nice, but they are expensive. So I feel like they have to be like really, really good and something I reach for all the time to kind of make it into my everyday kind of go-to products. But this is really good. I feel like, especially because my go-to makeup look tends to be really natural and just products that are um, easy and quick to apply, no, like not too much fuss, not too much kind of high maintenance stuff going on. Um, this is the Bitten Lip Tint. Um, I thought this was in a specific colour, but maybe it isn't. Um, but this is the newest one they released. They had like a redder one before, um, which wasn't necessarily up my street. This one's a bit more of a nudie tone, but it's a really, really nice texture. So it has that stain, so it lasts a really long time. But at the same time, it also has this like balmy, kind of glossy finish over the top. Really, really nice. And I've had that in my handbag and I've been finding myself reaching for that a lot. And then the other makeup product that I've really fallen for this month is one that I did not think I was going to like at all because the campaign for this, I was kind of like, no, nah, it's not really like my thing. I feel like I love a lot of Urban Decay products, but for me, it's quite a nostalgic brand. I feel like it is kind of a younger brand. Um, so I don't tend to go for a lot of their products anymore. I used to be obsessed with them, but their new mascara is really, really brilliant. This is Lash Freak. You probably saw um, this a lot on your social media. They did a lot of paid collaborations when this launched. Um, so it kind of piqued my interest because of that. They sent this to me and I was kind of like, oh, the brush just, it looks a bit gross. Like it, I don't know, like on the imagery, it shows it like all green and it kind of looks like some kind of weird praying mantis leg or something. Um, but actually when you take it out and it's got the product on it, it's a little bit kind of gloopy looking and it just looks like it collects products in the little areas. Anyway, this is actually brilliant. If you like lots and lots of length, um, this is actually a really, really brilliant mascara. I also like how they have the little kind of ball detail on the end so you can really get the little lashes on the bottom. And it is actually really good. I've been using it all month and it's easy to spot in your drawer and stuff as well because the colour is pretty distinctive. But I didn't think I was going to like it because the wand is very weird. Um, so yeah, that is the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. And then moving on to skincare, I've got three skincare products this month. The first one is from a brand that I had never tried before and they sent me a few things and it kind of piqued my interest because it's a little bit of a different um, kind of concept as it were. I think it's a French pharmacy brand, it's called SVR Laboratoire Dermologique, that's what makes me think it's French. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, and it also is like all of the writing except for the bottom is in French. But basically they do a few different ranges. The range that I got sent was this for sensitive skin range, which is not necessarily that applicable to me, but they included this um, cleansing balm. So this is a double cleansing balm, soothing, anti-pollution. It only has nine ingredients and it is um, in, I say sustainable packaging, more sustainable than most packaging um, in terms of like having a big plastic pot. But I actually really, really like this. It's it's more of like a natural formula. I think it is actually, it will say on the back what percentage, but very, very high percentage, like 98% or something like that. It might actually be even completely natural. Um, but I have been really, really impressed by this. It's more of an oily balm as opposed to a balmy balm, if that makes sense. Kind of doesn't make that much sense because cleansing balms are all oily but you know some of them are like more kind of like lightweight oil than the rest of them you can smell the coconut oil in this and it almost does feel like coconut oil when you are heating it up it's just it's really nice it really works and i feel like it's a good price point as well i feel like it's about 15 pounds so it's kind of like that premium um affordable level rather than having that super expensive um skincare. I feel like with cleansers as well, you can get away with spending a bit less because you're not actually, they're not staying on your skin, if you know what I mean. And this is really good if you're looking for a more affordable option for a cleansing balm. I would definitely recommend checking out that brand. I've also been using a couple of their other products and have liked them, but this has been the clear winner for me. Um, and then another thing that I 
happened across this month because I was working on a project with these guys um, and this product was kind of part of the lineup. Um, I actually went and bought the range because we were having a few issues with delivery and I was like, look, I really want to try this range anyway and I want to give it a good, like, proper trial window before I decide if I want to work on it. Um, and it actually wasn't for this product, it was for a different product in the same range. But this is the Garnier Restoring Hemp Multi Restore Gel Cream. And I picked this up, it was next to the product that um, I've done a campaign for them, which you will see in a few weeks. Maybe in a, even in a month, it's quite a while away. Um, but anyway, it was next door to that and I picked this up because I thought it looked interesting. Um, and it is actually such a nice moisturiser. It's a kind of like a bog standard day to day moisturiser. It doesn't have SPF, so I, I put SPF on top of it. But it's really lightweight, but at the same time really moisturising and very, very cooling. So if you're using a lot of active ingredients on your skin, I tend to use... Um, liquids, uh, exfoliators and acids and things like that, which can be a little bit sensitizing. This is so cooling, so soothing. And so I tend to use this like after my P50 and it's just like, ha, ah, it's like a nice, like cooling sensation on the skin. And it's just a really nice level of moisturizing. So it's not like a normal gel. Like when you see gel, you think like, that like for like teen skin kind of vibe, but this is actually, it's a gel cream. I would say it's more of a cream. It's like a lightweight cream. Um, it smells divine and it just literally like sinks into the skin. It's like just so nice and like, it's like having a drink. It's like giving your skin a little drink. It's really affordable because it's Garnier. Um, and what is also really cool with this range with Garnier is that they're reducing their packaging by something crazy like this. has like 60% less plastic in it than others and it's also using recycled materials and they also have an amazing recycling scheme. So like Garnier are doing very, very cool stuff on the um, recycling and sustainability front for a big brand as well because it takes a lot to move these like juggernauts of brands to do more sustainable, amazing work in that space. Like it's not just an overnight decision. It's like, this, you know, you know the scale of brands like that. Um, and yeah really cool new range from them and the other products i've been using is like a skin and body product and i don't ever tend to go for this kind of thing but i tried it out this month and i really like it i've actually got oil everywhere and this is from a brand called biosense which i've seen a few people talk about um this is their 100 percent squalane oil um in its sugarcane derived oil to hydrate face body and hair i've been using this on my body rather than anywhere else and it is so so moisturizing i have had all sorts of issues with my skin over the summer I've spoken about it a few times but basically um i had a batch of psoriasis for about three months which was brought on by a virus not coronavirus <laughs> um but basically i finally managed to get rid of it but i think it's actually something that now it's triggered in my system i will um have to put up with like long term I don't think it's just gonna go away so I'll have like flare-ups and stuff like that but actually keeping my whole body really well moisturized and hydrated really helps to stop the flare-ups so since it kind of went I had a period of time where it was really bad and then since it's gone um I've had like a few tiny flare-ups I've I've put my medication on and it's gone straight away and then just kept really moisturized and it hasn't come back and this has been amazing for that it's just so good and it's really nice for your legs as well you know if you've got your legs out put a bit of this on leaves them looking nice and greasy <laughs> no nice and like glossy and hydrated and lovely and then lastly but certainly not least is the new way dry shampoo which is a collaboration with Byredo this is so exciting I love Byredo fragrances they're probably one of my favorite fragrance brands and way have collaborated for them this is limited edition so if you want to try this move fast i would say because i think it's one of those things that byredo fans because it's such an expensive brand they will go nuts for this um it's their full-size dry shampoo scented um with the mojave ghost um fragrance from byredo which is i think it's probably their most popular it's one of their best-selling ones if not the, their most popular it smells amazing. Um, it's a really good dry shampoo as well. I tend to use dry shampoo as texturizer. Um, I do occasionally use it as dry shampoo as well, especially if I've like been in the gym. But for this, because it is heavily scented, I have been using it to texturize my hair. This actually came out when I'm filming this today, which is the 1st of September. This came out today, but I've had it for about 10 days and I've been using it and it is so good. I'm about to make an order and order some more because I love it so much and it makes you smell so nice. <laughs>
it's literally like, yeah, like wearing a really expensive Byredo perfume, but it's 20 pounds and your hair smells nice. Who doesn't want hair that smells nice? I use dry shampoo um, pretty much every day when I'm styling my hair. I say every day when I'm styling my hair because you know, I have those days where I just throw my hair in a bun and I'm not using dry shampoo, I'm just leaving it looking gross. Um, but every time I want my hair to look nice, whether it's straight or wavy, I'll always use a bit of dry shampoo to kind of add a bit of texture, um, especially if it's second day to like get rid of a bit of um, oil, kind of, if it's there. I don't have the greasiest hair, but it's just, look at that, it's so nice. It just adds such a lovely bit of texture to your hair. And um, like I said, I'm gonna be purchasing a couple of these because I have a feeling that they will not be sticking around for long. Oh, and another thing that I completely forgot to include and I'm now jumping back into this video before the end um, is the Aveda Nutriplenish Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using this for, it's nearly finished, so probably just over a month and it's really good. I am quite the connoisseur with leave-in conditioner because I have really tangly hair um, and it's also quite dry and over-processed and overheated um, and I basically use leave-in conditioner every time I wash my hair which is two or three times a week because um, it needs it to be able to get a brush through it and not have loads of breakage um, it really needs it so um, this has been really good I would highly recommend it the range in general um, came really really highly recommended from a lot of you guys um, I got sent this ages ago probably two months ago plus and I put it on an Instagram story and loads of people were like you have to try that try it it's brilliant I've been using it. I'm a complete convert to the whole range um, so yeah, loving this and also really interested to try the rest of the range now because um, I do love Aveda as a brand as well Like I've used them kind of on and off for years and years and years So um, would recommend that if you're looking for a new tinted moisturizer tinted moisturizer Leave-in conditioner. It's not a tinted moisturizer. Don't put it on your face. It would be not very nice um, So yeah, that is it for my monthly favorites video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon um, take care of yourselves and I hope you have a lovely September. Bye!